tuning in to this week's uh, Flat Camp Adventures episode. I'm here with Connell and the crazy kid Austin and Gilbert the dog. And we're about to run, we're just outside uh, Ra Milton in Donegal and we're about to run a few of the trails. I would say that these trails, Connell, would be an orange to green trail. Um, green would be our easiest trails and red would be our most difficult and you've been on quite a few of the trails now um, and you're running a standard uh, L200 pretty much stock yeah stock it's only once it's been decent. only it's once pretty much stock everything and anything up until mud uh, mud. <laughs> mud. Yeah, yeah, mud yeah yeah so that's whenever you hit the red stuff you really do need the the bigger tires the winch the underbody protection but most of the trails that we run would be a green to an orange pretty really. reasonable yeah. uh, pretty reasonable yeah. So we do provide now uh, passenger tours as well as owner driver experiences. So we're going to be taking you through some of the areas that we discover around this part of Donegal and showing you some of the sights and sounds of Austin also wants to say something. Uh, well the passengers be able to ride through. No, but you'll maybe be able to ride through it today. Okay? Austin likes to ride on the road. <laughs> This is a wee area that we quite often drive through and uh, it's pretty typical of some of the areas that we would go through. They would have been uh, farming sort of cottages, um, small holdings owned by people and they would have farmed here. Um, they wouldn't have had an awful lot, you know, they would have had maybe a few sheep and cows and chickens and then growing veg in this land. As you can see the land's pretty rough, it's, it's hard to grow food here, um, so it would have been a quite a hard life and this is a typical of where they would have lived. Um, you've got the cottage in the middle here 
um, and then you've got an outhouse to either side of it and quite often the animals would have been put in there to keep the residents of the house warm. Um, there would have been a small fireplace there and you can see although a lot of them were thatched quite a lot of them were also slate so they were so slate was much more hard wearing and it was a more modern finish but it didn't give the same heat as the thatch the thatch gave an insulation layer to the roof um, so you can also see I'm six foot three and you can see the difference in height whenever you go back 150 years people were smaller just leaving that first village and we're coming up and it looks like this was possibly the road between the two villages um, and there's also we think we've maybe found a well sort of about halfway down this we're not sure if it is a well or not but it looks like a well um, so we're going to show you that now and you can check it out Walk down the road and this is another wee building here that we've found. Um, again it's, it's stone construction. Um, it would have probably had a lime mortar um, between the stones but that's sort of washed away now and it's just standing there just about. But what's interesting about this building is the placement. Um, you've got a hill here and the wind today is actually sort of coming in behind us. So the people that have built this house have kind of thought about where it's at. It's down into the valley a wee bit to protect it from the wind. So it would have been quite nice probably sitting out the front of this place uh, during the summer. So we'll just go down in here and have a look. You can see the ground's pretty rough. Um, on down in. So this may have been the living room in here. <laughs> and that would have been the fireplace and whenever me and Connell were looking around there you can actually see inside this fireplace here there's a steel bar up in here just here and you would have probably hung your pots and stuff like that there and to cook on here so this would have been an open fire and you would have cooked you would have used it for heat but you would also used it for cooking and this is where the family would have lived um, probably quite a big family as well um, next door there there's also um, a small area and a fireplace and we'd imagine there might have been so, there might, the family might have been split between the two rooms but we're not we're not 100 percent sure on that it would be great to get somebody local just to find out who actually lived here and know a little bit more about the about this area think it might have been a well um, it's obviously been all sort of filled in and stuff but uh, aye, this would have been possibly a well what do you think Austin what? would you like to have lived here yeah uh, what about living in there in that house uh? yeah it'd be good would you but like that would you? Video games. there was no video games no no roads there's roadblocks no roadblocks no maybe yeah. a few chickens
So we've just finished up the trails for the day and we're at one of our favourite stop offs, the Singing Pub and Downings. Uh, so this place, it's, it's old, it's Irish, it serves fantastic Guinness, the food's great, the crack's absolutely 90 and there's normally a turf fire going in the corner and sometimes there is a bit of Irish traditional music as well so that's a great place to stop off so we're going to go in here and get something to eat Maybe it would be easier just to go down here okay. I think I'll just go for the burger as well right? yeah. Cheers boys.